did a splendid job there. They did better than me in my Reconquista run. I think I got reduced to just Granada. But I never, ever moved my capital away. I considered that game over. Bloomin' smugglers. Wait, what? You go Venice, trash them. Mamlukian conquest of... Ooh. I wonder who dominates the seas here. Yeah, it's looking pretty uh, in favour of the enemy. Oh. Go away! Now this isn't something I agree to. They are royally taking the mick now. Come on over, Lord. Live up to your name. Now the Ottomans not so hot on us, not uh, funding our suave lifestyle anymore. Deliver me. That's the spirit. The AI doesn't favor the player in Wars bullcrap. Wiz is hacking this. I wouldn't put it beyond Wiz to do that. But this is kind of good, seeing my overlord get uh, smashed up. I'm not about to jump in on this, actually. Oh, Venice has already been uh, soundly, th uh, soundly thwarted. Knight's given up the money. I might as well get the uh, grey skin somewhat on my side. And devotion's not a problem. The clergy and the stability helps us out there. That's what's nice about uh, being a theocracy. I mean, if I was not a theocracy, I could have gotten marriages and been in a much stronger position. But I kind of like this. Being a vassal offers me some uh, flexibility not otherwise afforded. And again, I have to start thinking about what I want to do with my army when it comes time to uh, jump you. We're winning this war. We're winning it pretty good. It's high time for me to get my army on the go. Four is not a great number. It's far from a great number. I would like to build more than four. Heck, I'd settle for six. But it depends how my... Uh, monetary situation is there. Okay, yeah, I can afford a couple more. I'll suddenly get the money for it all once uh, the war is over. There's no point having them maintained, provided the war ends soon. Would hate to get jumped on the way, but what you gonna do? Jake, don't forget to max out relations with autos and QQ. They are more than sufficient. The pretty good side to this is that I will bag myself an alliance with the Ottomans post, uh, post-war. Excellent. So unless there are any, uh, rebels out there to ruin my day, let us march. Hmm? Hmm? was unaware that I had to ask you for access. Oh well, the more you learn. So we'll arrive in the area we need to be in a year before uh, it's go time, or show time. The reason I'm running away from here is that I don't want to get cornered. Then again, I have access through Tlemcen, and it might not be a bad idea to defend my capital whilst the Ottomans go and... Uh, utterly rag on the Mamluks from that end. Still, even if I had military access in these regions, they could still chase me down. And uh, I'd have very poor visibility in the situation. If I got fully sieged up, sure, that would suck for the country. 
but I don't know. They have a very poor line of defense here. No, the risk of the uh, Mamluks coming down and destroying the only army I have is too big. I don't care about the Ottomans transferring control of the Levant to me. I will be the war leader. I just have to have them not uh, attack the Mamluks right now. So that's one year. If they can just not fight for one year, that'll be fine. I also got to think about the estates. I'm really liking the emirs being so uh, dutiful to me. I would quite like to keep it that way, but the Alema give us that delicious tax. Tax income, you say? My devotion's doing fine. Hmm, yeah. Sadly, you're in war at the moment, and that's minus a thousand. But it's a war that you're probably going to come out of pretty soon, since you're winning massively. Oh, the Ottomans are at war as well. But again, a war that should end very soon. Praying that all this is going to go my way. Clemsenian relations. I can't improve them well enough. What luck. They both pieced out. Now if they just don't go to war, both of them, for uh, a little bit, we will be hunky-dory. Jake, don't forget to declare war on Tunis after wrecking Mamluk so the Ottomans don't join that war. Uh, that seems a little risky, to be honest. We'll see. If I'd been thinking ahead of time, I probably would have erected a fort on my capital so that it could actually uh, withstand for a wee while. Oh well. Truce is up in July. At that point, we beg for assistance and go for it. Might also be worth double checking to see if anybody has changed their mind on how they feel towards uh, the Mamluks. They're all sadly friendly. I never considered their allies though, but they just have Yemen. And in terms of threat, that is no man. Wonderful. Help us out, bro. You too. As long as neither of you start a bloomin' war in the next five days, it's go time. It's a shame I can't get military access, though, because I wonder if I'll be exiled here. Actually, I'm going to be in uh, a fort's zone of control when this happens, so it could end up being pretty bad for me. Jake, mill points, use them or lose them. Well, it's as good a time as any. God, the Ottomans already bragging with their tech 6. Well, that's only good for us because that those tactics are going to help out massively. So, oh, we have good relations with them. I don't want to take that extra stab hit. Is there anything I can do to reduce it? Now it's risky. Risky to send them an insult at this point. Especially since the Ottomans already have their army primed, as if to say we're going to take the Levant now. Very risky, but I don't want that extra stab hit. I'm going to trust that they won't go to war for a, uh, a month. Jake, unit upgrade. Eat your stab hit, Jake. Well, damn. Should have eaten my stab hit. 
But I have independent support at the moment still from one person. It's not going to be good enough. It's not going to be great, but it will be something. Good enough. But I need to watch them die. Can you separate peace in an independence war? That I'd love some uh, confirmation on. Greed destroys Jake again. No, prepare, uh, failure to prepare in advance killed me there. We knew from the beginning. Come now, Ak Kuyunlu. You promised you'd help here. Not liking how I'm just sitting here waiting for uh, the Mamluks to come and ruin my day. Kara? Kara, please? <laughs> oh man, you guys suck. Yeah, my greed well and truly hurt there. Yes, you can separate peace in an independence war. There we go then. Alright, good to see that uh, the Ottomans are demolishing the Mamluks. Man, they could have been on my side. I knew they were ready to declare war, but my greed told me to hold out for one more month. Perhaps that just makes things more interesting. But it means that I don't get my free alliance with them. I get Kara Kiyunlu instead, and I think the Ottomans are going to want to nibble on some Kara. We're pretty lucky that they're all kind of ignoring us in Damascus. Especially since we don't have much in the way of strength here. I should probably back it up a little bit, but it's overseas, so I can't even recruit here. Well, once the Ottomans pierce through that fort, they'll be coming to... Ah, shoot. Can't even run away here. And I'm trapped by the fort. Do I even have places to run? Thanks, Ottomans. Go make yourself useful. It's better this way, Jake. Ottoman Alliance would be too babby. Yeah, thanks. Unless I have a full 6,000 here, this uh, siege isn't going to make it. But at least I have a bit of protection. Uh, Ottomans? It was a battle. Alright, I guess I'm just going to have to leave them with Damascus. I need something for myself. What are you doing, Karaka Yunlu? You're doing the opposite of helping. Again, getting those emirs to be super loyal to me is... Really quite nice. Even if much of the other parts of the situation are not. Let's get some units on the go and attack from the other end. Thanks for the wishes of good luck. Greed sometimes really hurts. My 
manpower hurts as well, but I don't think raising additional levies. Nah. <laughs> Not that I even can. Alright though, once this falls... Kara, what are you doing, man? I know you're really interested in Trebizond there, but that's not where the issue is. Okay, let's do this. Yes, when I get a really bad air, I'm going to call him Hudson. It's only fitting. Get occupy something. Although, maybe I should occupy uh, Gifitsa. For that, I'll need an extra unit. And I have to not get a disease outbreak either. But I think it's worth it. Unless the Mamluks come along here and just ruin my day. It's possible, but at least if I occupy these lands, I'll get a bit of advanced warning. Okay, there is some land going down here. What I really need is for you to uh, make your way over to it, Karaka Yunlu. As for me, I'm going to try to occupy all the minor lands that I can. We shall split you up into two groups, or uh, three groups of two, rather. Yeah, that didn't go so hot now, did it? Pop. Not so happy about having my uh, ruler in charge of these guys. Let's try and squeeze every penny we can here. Right, that's everyone there. Get over here and demolish some of that fleet while we're at it. I want the Ottomans to stay in this war for a while, but they're probably not going to. They've already got all the war score they need for everything they could possibly want. But I've got to drive my greed as far as I can. They're going to target the fortification so that they can have some, uh, some way through. I need to make the most of the rest of it. And this is why I stick two stacks here. So that they can shoulder that attack and still have enough to siege up with. Damn, they're pieced out. Thankfully, we still have the uh, the Karaka Yunlu on our side. Unfortunately, Ottomans... Well, no, if I get access to the Ottomans, then my allies will as well. We can yet pull through. And good Karaka Yunlu have listened to my command. bad. Well, not too bad. As long as Kara don't get tired in this war. Or, you know, as long as the Ottomans don't declare war on Karaka Yunlu. Because that would call me in as their valuable ally. I'm stuck on this fort, though. We need it to fall or else we go nowhere. can't penetrate into that province thanks to, uh, well, this. But we can help out all we can. Jake birdie points, yeah, they're nearing uh, the logical extreme. I think we might as well just get that out of the way. Some extra mill tech would be kind of nice. Maybe I should stop focusing on it, since there are other things to think about. It is what a fool would say, because I still have all these hungry people around me. Clemson have decided to rival us. Tunis are probably just waiting for the opportunity to do the same, and just about everyone is allied to the Ottoman. <sighs> it's going great. All this to uh, maintain one's stability, right? Maybe it's not a good idea to keep all of my... Uh, Merchants busy, but they're not merchants. Um, quite the opposite of merchants, in fact. Diplomats. But this is what it must come to. 
thinking about just getting another unit on the go here, quick and dirty. But we lack manpower, strangely enough. Go for it, lads. Good, keep him dead. I want control of everything. How much? Everything! Again, still, uh, still high on the desire for war, which is great. <laughs> Apparently I'm not devout enough with all this warring going on. I disagree, but... Eh. We'll be fine. Okay, he's actually coming for these guys. They cannot hang around here. 21st of July, probably another week till you get there. Two weeks, in fact. One, two... You don't have the time. You must go back and reinforce that. He's probably going to try and lift these sieges now. But once we have Cairo, we'll have everything we need. I'm going for 100% uh, here. No compromise. At least you know how long it takes to beat the Ottomans. Yeah, 40 years. Okay, good. Gaff size down. I don't really wish to engage those fellows. Uh, in fact, I really do not wish to engage them, but I don't have my military access here anymore, and I'm somewhat trapped. And these fellows can't help us out until Cairo falls. So, uh... It's a bit of a roundabout way of saying a little trapped here. Okay, good. They're focusing on desieging this. So our fellows here should be good for a little while at least. Well, that's kind of why I occupied it. It makes a good buffer zone. Jake, take lots of land and stay as a vassal so you can get auto alliance anyway. Ooh. That's, uh, that's an idea. I would have to take another 3 stability on the chin, though. And the Ottomans are having enough trouble of their own here. Pretenders, Greek separatists, Syrian separatists, what's up with the Ottomans? They've already got one loan, but uh, if there's one thing I've learnt, they can shoulder rather a lot of those. Right, uh, I need to tech up so these guys are less interested in fighting me and also stick the best I have in charge in the highlands while we're at it, just in case they come for me. Not interested in fighting the Ottomans, I'm interested in using the Karaka Yunlu as a wrecking ball. Lose one base tax in... Oh man... I got it by event. I guess I'd lose it by event. But I don't want the Emirs to lose too much loyalty. Still. How can I be a just man if I agree to that? There we go. The Ottomans are pulling it back together. Shame we had to be at war. I should get those relations back up. And what do we have now? New cavalry. Alright, my buffer zone is all but depleted here. If I were to go piecing out, and I would want that stuff. Oh my, I could make myself quite the empire. It would all be revolting though, that is an issue. I never did tech up. Probably should have. Probably shouldn't be focusing on mill anymore. Mm, but the air is really good. Well, you would work out. You would work out pretty good. Let's get that mill by hook or by crook. Also, Cairo, could you please fall? Nadj may be allied, but they're not going to do anything about that. And it's time to re-establish our buffer. They're probably coming back, which is great news. Puts our units in a good position to attack them. But I'm sending out the uh, mercenary 
for this because I don't want to lose my regular units, he says, as he is about to engage in horrendous battle. We got backup, but oh, well, that is timing at a half. Okay, with that down, we need to take as much as we can, as fast as we can, because I imagine all that has made our ally Kara. Oh, they're even more enthusiastic now, because of our war score going up. Gorgeous. Okay, I don't want to hang around for uh, more losses here. Smooth things over a bit. Jake wouldn't, after taking that land, you convert to Sunni, then let the Abadi Zealots fix all that horrible Sunni land. Um, Mamluks would probably force me to become Sunni, and then I could use my Abadi Zealots to just cover everything. But the Mamluks would probably come over and kill those Zealots for me, unless I got a particularly large number of them. So, uh, issues and issues, I guess. I kind of like being a vassal of the Mamluks, though. Depends how keen the Ottomans are to come for round two. Alright, I've actually got enough war score to take anything I want here. I just gotta keep in mind what the Ottomans want. Oh, everything. Well, forget you, then. You probably just want it because it's Mamluk in land, though. Me, I have ambition. Not that you'd know anything about that. How does that look? Because I think it looks pretty good. Costs extra because it's not uh, under my control yet. I don't want to waste too much time. But the reality is difficult to uh, ignore. Go for bankruptcy, Jake. It works so well. Nah. Nay. Problems has become cheaper if I actually control them. And uh, look at that, Rosetta still needs to be controlled. Well, that's not true. The truth is that they get more expensive. if you haven't uh, controlled them, but demand them in a war. Alright, this is agreeable. Call for pizza coming in. Jake, check culture so you can reduce autonomy in, An in Alexandria. Uh, this is all foreign to me, but if I actually get Egyptian as, a for as an accepted culture, then it'll be fine. And that should be okay. The new world is indeed randomized, and we will go out and find out about it. But I think I should do this and get, uh... Shame I can't get a bit more. How about some of that sweet money you have? I could get war reparations from my overlord now, there's a laugh. It's good that you're allied with Nadj, but I wish you got a better ally. should be very much affordable after this is done. Nice. I'll take it. This is going to be horrible, though. I really hope they enforce religion upon me. My country's going to explode. Oh well. It's a Mamluk's problem. There we go. So, we're still a vassal under the Mamluks. We're still getting subsidies from the Ottomans, so thanks a lot, Otto friend. We're also allied with Karak Yunlu. No, we actually lose that because, uh, yeah. We've got an interesting situation here, to say the least. No, we're purposefully staying a vassal. That's why we're not asking for independence in all of this. So, what do we do? We could either convert by rebels. I don't think that's... Where can we get someone that isn't already got a bit of ticking uh, rebel going on? 
That's good. And our rebellions will be small because our force limit is tiny. So hopefully the Mamluks can raise an army to go and deal with that because I'm not about to.